All right, I'm gonna show you a version of a sissy squat here. And this isn't really to get into the extreme version of movement, which is very difficult and very intense, but to get into the basically the health or of your knee joints here. So what is, the whole purpose of this is moving toward the sissy squat to engage as much tension as you can around your knees as they bend. Now you use support here so you don't have to worry about the trickier components of this. You won't have to worry about your balance. You don't have to come down all the way. If you've never seen a sissy squat before, if you look at the full versions, they get very intense. But what's gonna happen here is I've got this block at my side and you can just have something down low or I'm gonna use this yoga block as well just so I have something to balance with. You could have two chairs on either side of your body, something to support your weight so you're not worried about falling backwards because to come into this, you need to squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward, and this is basically like a back bend from the knee joint all the way through the shoulders. So your hips stay pressed forward with the glutes engaged, shoulders back, and you're gonna lift up your heels, press the knees as far forward as you can, and you're coming down as low as you can control. Now, now that doesn't mean it has to be very low, so don't worry about going too far. So I've got this block right here so I can press it into the box, but from here, feet about hips with distances, so heels in, toes out just a little bit, and then Hips forward, squeeze your glutes, keep your glutes engaged, and hips press forward, lift your heels. And then just to take this down light, bring the knees forward, just sink down, and if you decide that this is your limit, come back up. And what you wanna do is maintain tension around the knee joint and tension the glutes through the whole range. If you can come down a little bit further, then I'm just gonna have the block right here to catch me, or the box right here to catch me, I should say, and then shoulders, and shoulders back, hips forward, glutes engaged, let the knees go forward, let the heels lift. I'm just using the block to support me, taking a little bit further down, and then come all the way back up, and try not to shoot up too fast. Try to keep some tension in the glutes, tension around the knees as you come up and keep it controlled. So try to move as best you can. If you're fighting with ankle mobility or toe mobility, it's good for that as well, but it makes the movement much more challenging. So just take things to whatever level you're able. If you can take it down further, this time I'm just gonna come down to a block to support me touch it down and come back up. So again, glutes engaged, hips forward, knees forward the whole time. I'm just gonna reach my right arm forward as a little bit of counterbalance and hang the left hand down. And then once I touch the block down, come back up with control. And then should your knees get even healthier, a good way to come in and out of this, that you're doing this for repetitions rather than just doing one or two intense movements, is to let your hands hang down and maybe reach for the heels. And this is if you've actually got control of the movement here, so you're not going to fall all the way back. So just demonstrating how much further you could take this. Again, glutes engaged, hips forward, just hang the arms, and then take it slow. Lift the heels, let your knees go forward, keep your glutes engaged, and as your arms hang, just take it down, take it and touch your heels and come back up. So just keep in mind, take the version that works for you, and that's with the one you wanna work for repetitions. You'll feel all that tension around the knee joint, and that's what you're after with this. Thank you.